today we're going to quickly run you through how to get the line off of the bulk spool and onto your reel spool with the absolute minimal line twist. It's really essential that you take your time and do it right because it's an easy mistake to get the line on there with too much twist. And what happens is you end up getting fraps on the cast, tangles, and just life becomes more awkward than it needs to be. This advice applies for GT80 Plus, Pro, Hydra Tough, and GT80. Essentially, all you need to do is take a little bit more time, start like normal, putting the spool into the bucket, just weight it down with a couple of flap hair in lines so that it doesn't twist, because every time it twists in the bucket with the inertia of the line coming off otherwise, you're getting twist in there. Once it's in there, you reel it onto your reel spool, through your fingertips, applying a nice steady pressure, but after about 100 yards, just stop and assess whether or not the line looks particularly twisty for running from your rod tip down into the bucket. If it's coiled like a spring, that's a build up of line twist and it's really easy to nullify. Just by turning the spool over and running off the wrong way essentially, what you find, that just goes back to no twist at all after 20 yards, maybe 30 yards. You check again, turn the spool back over, weighing it down again so that the line's coming off anti-clockwise again and start uh, and very quickly, takes a couple more minutes longer just to double check, but very quickly you'll have your spools filled, it'll be virtually twist free and it will behave itself impeccably next time you go fishing. And you don't want to ruin this stuff the first time that you go out just because it's got loads of twist in it. Go out, do it right, take your time and you'll get the best performance whatever line you use.